Hello everybody. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the three main types of running your potable water lines in your plumbing system at Ruffin. And the first one we're going to come to is this one up here. This is called the trunk and branch system. This is historically uh, the way to do it. Uh, plumbers have been doing it like this for years and years and years. Uh, they did it with copper, they did it with the old polybutylene, they did it with CPVC, and nowadays we use this stuff called PEX, which is the cross-link polyethylene tubing. Uh, this is pretty much the new stuff and the way everybody does it now. Uh, this is the most cost-effective. Uh, we do use a lot of fittings here, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to use a large pipe for your trunk line running down the plumbing center of your house. Not necessarily just the center, but the plumbing center where all your bathrooms and your fixtures and stuff in a nice straight line. Uh, we typically use three quarter for this, for your trunk. Uh, in some of our larger houses or houses that have uh, multiple bathrooms, you might see one inch. Uh, in some of your commercial applications, it can get much, much, much larger depending on how many fixtures and how many bathrooms you're trying to feed. Uh, but in a residential application, this is what you're gonna see. Uh, a three-quarter trunk and then your branches are going to be done out of half inch. Now, uh, in this little simulation, I have the red for my hot and I'm using the white pipe for cold. Uh, in PEX, you could also get blue, but we did away with the blue because it's just one more color. Uh, if you notice on my hot lines here, uh, this last little stub out part is white. We do that because we don't want to see a bunch of colors, red and blue pipes poking out of the wall. Uh, our stub outs, we want them to be white. It looks cleaner, it looks much better. Uh, but the, how this basically works is the large pipe is what is keeping your flow rate. It's holding the volume of your water. When you get to uh, one of these fittings that steps it down to half inch, uh, you're gonna choke that volume back and you're gonna build pressure. That's why we do that. So you're building pressure to that particular fixture. Uh, and as you see how this works, I've got my branch lines coming off. Maybe this is a little powder bath with a hot and a cold, uh, and then a hot and a cold, and a hot and a cold. Maybe this is a master shower. And then I've got this one here with no hot. And why is that? Because some fixtures, like a toilet, only has cold. Uh, it might be an ice maker, or it could be a hose bin. So, that's the basics of how that works. Now, some of the drawbacks to this, it's a lot of fittings. And the way PEX works, these fittings slip inside of these pipes. So it's actually a choke point. Uh, and the more fittings you have, the more choke bounds you're gonna have. So that's kind of a drawback to it. Now, PEX is really good plumbing system. Uh, not a whole lot of leaks and stuff, and it's designed to last forever. But in plumbing, historically, uh, where you have your problems is at your fittings if there is to be a leak and that was popular with all of the plumbing systems uh, CPVC, copper, all those those uh, fittings are a possibility for a leak that's why when we do slab work and we put PEX underneath the slab we use the rolls we don't have any fittings in that stuff because we don't want something to break under a slab um, it's not likely to but the more fittings, the more possibility, the more choke points. So it's a cost effective, it's fast, it's easy to run, it's the most widely used system is the trunk and branch system. Which brings us to some of the other ones I've got here. Now this here is called a manifold system. Uh, I do have a variety of pecs and I do have a variety of methods here. Um, this up here is actually what they call the PEX-B, the B system. Uh, it uses these crimp rings uh, and there are some other methods you can use. This setup here is pretty much designed to use with the PEX-A tubing. A lot of different companies manufacture this stuff. There's a lot of different names out there, uh, but most of them have both a PEX-A and B and I have even seen some C out there. Uh, but a, the PEX A, you can do what's called cold expansion. Doesn't have these little crimp rings and stuff. It, it uh, actually expands. It's pretty neat stuff. Uh, this is more expensive. The, the tubing is more expensive in the A versus the B. But it does have a better warranty um, and it is supposed to be a higher quality. So, you know, you get what you pay for. But this here is called a manifold system. 
And as you see, it comes back to uh, a manifold. And now this gives you better water distribution. Uh, this goes into one centralized location and then each one uh, of your water lines is going to branch off and go to its fixture. When doing this system, you can use that rolled PEX. Not a whole lot of fittings on this stuff. You can do it coming off a manifold and just twist in that pipe up because it will bend and curve uh, without having the fittings. Now, one of the advantages of this versus this guy. Let's say our water heater's over here and this is our hot line running down. Uh, maybe we're down here uh, in our shower, our master shower. Uh, this system, you've got to charge this whole trunk with hot water before you get down to that last fitting at your master shower or, or wherever. Now, say you're in that master shower and somebody comes over here and turns on a sink and say this powder bath or whatever this is representing. Uh, your heater's here. This point right here is gonna, is gonna take that hot water first because it's first in line. So it could affect the pressures and flow rate and some of the temperature uh, on that last fixture, especially if you start turning on other fixtures in front of that. Your manifold system is designed to eliminate that temperature and pressure uh, reg uh, different regulations there. Uh, so this runs from that centralized manifold, one pipe out to each one. Some of the advantages behind this is when concerned with hot water. Uh, you don't have to charge this whole system up. Say you're only asking for hot water out of this guy. It's only gonna charge this pipe and that, and it's gonna leave the rest of these cold instead of heating up that whole pipe. Now, uh, this is a more expensive system. Um, it's a lot more complicated to use. There's a lot more pipe but you don't have all these fittings. You get rid of all those little fittings, all those little choke points. This is gonna be a more balanced system. And like I said, you can use just a solid pipe. You go to each fixture. Uh, it's real balanced. I really like this. Uh, doing these manifold systems is a lot of fun to run. Um, which is gonna bring us to our last one. Now this one here is the most expensive system out there because it's got a lot of neat little parts. This is called a distribution block or a manifold block. Uh, I really like this system because basically what this does is it gives you a breaker box just like you have for your electricity. Well it gives you a breaker box for your house. Each one of these has a little shutoff valve here and it does come with a little key that's mounted right in the front so you don't lose it. You can pop it off and pop it back in that hole but you can shut down these valves individually. Say, you know, later on, 20 years from now, you got a faucet that explodes or something in uh, one of your bathrooms. Well, if you don't have the time or the money to fix it right now, you can take this little key and just go up and turn that faucet off. And you still got water supply to the whole rest of the house. And you can fix that thing whenever you get around to it. Uh, it's really neat. And the other thing is, if, um, say you live in a colder climate, or you know it's going to drop down really cold one night, you run your hose bibs off of here, you can go up here and um, shut your hose bibs down, and of course go outside, open those things up, drain them down. You don't have any water on those external points on your house. Nothing's going to freeze. And then when it warms back up, of course you can just go and turn them back on. It's a pretty neat thing. Um, I really like these distribution blocks. Um, I, I, I'd like to see us run a lot more of them. But it is a balanced system just like this. You're not going to have those fluctuations in temperatures and pressure because it's basically just like this manifold system, but it gives you the ability to shut these things down. The other thing is cold water comes in here, cold water goes straight through to here. Uh, straight to your heater. You can put your heater right above there uh, and then it comes straight back down. So, and then it's balanced across everything. Here again, this, no fittings. You don't have to use fittings. You can use fittings, but you don't have to use fittings. You're just going to swoop that stuff around and uh, you don't have all those little choke points. Uh, really neat thing. I would love to see this in the future, but like I said, this is the most expensive because it has the extra equipment. Um, and as you can see, this one did give me some different examples 
of the different types of fittings. This one actually has a compression fitting, which is kind of an old style thing. Uh, as you tighten this down, it squeezes that pipe and makes a good connection. I've also got your crimp style pecs on here. And then um, I have the press style pecs. Here again, the press style is one of the more expensive, but I really like it because it's actually giving you more like a hydraulic fitting here versus just a single crimp ring. It's actually got two little press points there. Uh, it's really neat. And then of course, we had our cold expansion over here. Uh, all of these systems can be used uh, with your distribution block, uh, that is in the connections. And then you can also get these manifolds for the uh, crimp style PEC system as well. Uh, but that's pretty much it on just your methods. They all have their drawbacks uh, and their, uh, you know, their pros and cons. This is the most cost effective. This is the way plumbers have been doing it for years. It's the branch, branch and trunk system. This works really good. Uh, it's real simple, easy to install. Uh, this one comes somewhere in the middle because you have some extra uh, fittings there and um, a different style tubing, which no choke points, uh, it's balanced, it's, it's nice. And then of course, the most expensive one you're gonna have out there is, is this one. But I really like this system because it does give you that breaker box to where you could shut your water down and work on a fixture while you keep water going to the rest of your house. Um, so that's, that's pretty much it for this one. Uh, thanks a lot, guys.